Hi everybody. This is my snack crate video. So I went online because I saw those videos of everybody opening their box. So went online and it's twenty dollars a month for this one. Like the other one I think is like I don't know, fourteen dollars maybe. And this one's twenty. And you get a different box of snacks from around the world every month. This one is from the UK. So, we're gonna open it. so I peeked in the box before because, you know, I'm curious and I couldn't wait. Um, because I'm excited. Um, see, it says, I don't know if it's going to be backwards when you see it, but it comes from the UK. So, first of all, okay, so it came USPS. It says, beat the heat. Summer is here, and that means some items can melt or get soft in warmer temperatures during transit. I placed my snack crate in the refrigerator, as it tells me to do. Um, it was in the mailbox in the summer, so like I hope that everything's okay, but it should be. But I don't know, it's, it's a sticker of some sort, so you can put it on whatever you want, I guess. Um, so, let's see, I'll show you that inside of the box. That's what it looks like. But I like, I peeked in, I was like, ooh, I was like, what did I get without like officially opening it? And there's a bag of like, I don't know, it tells you what it is in here. Um, list fun facts about the country, and about the country, but the frazzles in the package they apparently were popped the bag of chips were popped in the middle of tra uh, transport to me because the bag is open so I may or may not be eating a frazzle um, yeah okay so I'm gonna open the seal I wish you could see what I was doing. Okay. Oh, oh no! Woo! So, technical difficulties. Please stand by. Okay. So, comes with these. This is fun. The dog just went like, whoa! Are you afraid of that now? It's okay. So, walkers. The open bag of frazzles. Oh, and then there's a whole bunch of other things. Okay, so I'm going to set this down. And, I don't know. Do I want a chip? I don't know if I want a chip. I want some chocolate. Okay, so... Fun facts, every day people drink 165 million cups of tea in the UK. I think I saw that on the video, I remember that. Champagne was invented here in 1662. Big Ben is not the clock, it's the bell. I had no idea, I thought Big Ben was a clock, because it's what I learned. Huh, there's more, so it's pretty neat. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to, like, eat something. So, we have a whole listing of what comes in the package. I got the, I can't read it backwards, original, and it comes with the contents of the mini plus the original, and then there's a premium, I think. Yeah, premium package. But I didn't want to go for that for my first go around, so here's the information on these all go through it as I try something. What should I try? Oh, that seems very hard. Um, flake bar. This is Cadbury's chocolate layered so that it flakes when eaten. Commonly served in vanilla ice cream and called a flake 99. Ooh. 
it is rather flaky. It's chocolate, otherwise I'll let the dog eat it. Okay, keep it on the table, Stephanie. So far, a little bit. Oh no. Cadbury. I think it was ruined by the sun because it's very pasty now in my mouth. Look. Eh. I mean, pleasant taste, but it's not flaky like I was led to believe. Moving on. Wine gums? These look like lifesavers, maybe. Strangely, these taste nothing like wine. And they aren't gum either. Despite this branding weirdness, this candy is awesome. If I can get it open. I feel like it might say a word on there, but I can't really read it. S H E. No idea. Okay. Whoa. It's really, really. Tasteful, <laughs> flavorful, and chewy at first. It's better. It's kind of like a lifesaver without the hole in the middle. Um, but uh, I couldn't chew it up well enough, and I swallowed it before it was ready. Huh? I like lifesavers better. Sorry, wine gums. Yeah. Uh oh, no. There it is. Can't let the dog eat it. Okay. A curly whirly bar? What? Oh. It's in the premium package and I didn't get the premium. That's pretty cool. Okay. Imagine a chewy caramel ladder. Now drape it in delicious milk chocolate around since 1970. Curly Whirly is still a firm favorite spelled with a U. I hope I can eat this. It looks like a ladder. Be treat wise, it says. Focus. I don't know why I want to focus. But yeah, be treat wise. See back of pack. And then it's the nutrition pack, so. Choose carefully. That's a little too caramelly and chewy for me. But it's delicious. Okay. So, now I think it's time to try. No, uh They don't have Kit Kats. In Britain. No. That doesn't sound like it comes from there at all. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to try Walker, because 
I'm still not convinced if I should try the frazzles or not. So we're going to open these. Walker's Worcester. Worcester? It's not the whole thing. It's not Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. I don't know how to pronounce it. So. Lexi, where are you? Oh, there you are. No, you think you're going to get a treat? Nothing in here is for you. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. So, these may look familiar. That's because Walker's is owned by Lay's. However, their recipes and flavors are wildly different. Check to make sure. We still have to air. Piece of the flake bar on me. It's stuck. Oh, there you go, Lexi. Let me know how you like it. So, what do you think? What do you think? How was it? She's shy. She won't say anything. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I guess go for it, huh? Whoa. Kind of tastes like Asian E. Kind of. Like sweet and sour. But it's not like while you're chewing it, it like the aftertaste it tastes like pleasant, like Chinese food or Asian food. I like them. All right. Hmm. So there's the frazzles that are open. My friend Katie, she says I should. Well, that smells like a. Her bag of. Lexi's bag of begging strips. Because Frazzles are a delicious bacon flavored corn chip. I'm holding them upside down, but I don't want them to come out the bottom. That's already open. But you know. You only live once, right? No, like, bugs or anything in there. Okay. Right. That tastes like a... Oh, what's it called? I don't know if it's the right word, but like pork rinds? Yeah, that's what it is. But... <laughs> I really hope these are okay because I'm probably going to eat the whole bag. Oh, these are good. So I have a double decker bar left, a sherbet fountain, a crunchy bar. Again, Cadbury product. Way back from 1929. Golden Honeycomb Center surrounded by delicious Cadbury milk chocolate. I remember these from the video. And I remember they were like... Ah, ah, trying to get it off there. Caramel Biscuit is what it is. Tunnock's Caramel Wafers. Sure, I'll give it a go. Sure, let's try. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. 
Oh, that was bad off. Maybe it was a double deco. Or the crunchy that was together. Chocolate. I don't taste the caramel. I mean, it's not bad. If you have a chocolate fix. Pretty, pretty pleasant. Enough chewing. What? This is more than 5 million of these biscuits made and sold every week. Made in Scotland. That's pretty good. I'm glad there are two. <laughs> Wham! Raspberry flavored chew bar. This is like a... Airhead? No. Are those the sour things you pop in your mouth? Those are warheads. Airheads. Yeah. Ooh, described as a raspberry flavored chew bar... Wham bars are loaded with fizzy crystals, so it's like Pop Rocks. Dude. Haha. <laughs> it's like Pop Rocks and Airheads all in one. That's what I'm guessing. Alright, alright, alright. If I could get it out there! Oh, it smells like raspberry. Okay. Oh, this is very, very chewy. Oh. I should have read the outside of the bar. Because it says with sour crystals. I seem to get more sour as it goes on. It lied. It just said fizzy crystals. It didn't say sour. It's probably fizzy from all the saliva my mouth is producing right now. It's not bad. Pretty good. But it's sour. He likes sour stuff. Trevor would like it. He likes sour stuff. So these look like malted milk balls. Whoppers. Created in 1937, these fantastic malted milk balls were once marketed as a diet chocolate. Don't worry, it's diet. I can eat. Oh no! Well, that one has dog hair on it now, so we're gonna put that Okay. They kind of all melted together and formed like one huge. Like, I gotta break this one. Look, they're stuck together. Mm. They're better than Whoppers, sorry to say. Or maybe Whoppers left out in the sun. Well, left out in a hot mailbox cooking for three hours. Would have the same effect, but... Mm. Mm hmm. Another one of these frazzles. Good luck to one. Oh. oh. How do you like it? I love them. They're pretty good. Okay. Oh no. You okay? You alright? Alright. Almost killed my dog apparently. No more frazzles for you.
Okay, so another one of those. So we got a crunchy. A double decker. Oh my gosh, I've tried so many things. This is a really good deal for twenty dollars a month. I mean You get a box, cool box every month too. Like, you know, you gotta think about that. I like boxes. So, ooh, it looks marshmallowy. This is a double decker. <sighs> this two layer chocolate bar has crispy cereal bits on the bottom and creamy nugget on the top. Well, it looks like it's been smushed. So, everything's everywhere, but I'm sure it's still gonna be amazing. So, there you go. Mm. It's like a mm. rice crispy treat bar, like maybe one of those like cereal bars you get at the gas station or whatever, or maybe the grocery store. But it's good. Oh, it's like shrinking back into place. That was weird. Watch. That's good. Mm-hmm. Last but hopefully not least. Crunchy. The packaging's different in the book. Oh, oh, this is the golden honeycombed. Center surrounded by delicious Cadbury chocolate. Oh my. You can tell that these items were melted. Okay. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It's like honeycomb cereal for real. Like the crunch. Mmm. I don't know. I can't describe it, but it's really, really good. I need new adjectives. Yeah. I missed out on some hobnobs. And but I'm fairly satisfied with my purchase so thanks for watching you should order your snack crate at snackcrate.com